I mean, obviously, I was frustrated, de you know, how we played defensively in the first half. I think uh, I was uh, tempered, though, because it's still our team. So it was good to see our offense be, be explosive and not just down the field, but our run game was really good. Uh, Hayden Van Winkle, I mean, it worked some uh, voodoo witch magic over on the other sidelines. I can't, I mean, I don't know what was happening over there, but it was pretty, pretty fun to watch. His quarterbacks ran really well. Um, some, some big plays, DeMond Short obviously had some clutch catches over the middle, which we want out of him, and he's had a phenomenal spring, so it was really good to see him cap it off. And then defensively, I think we kind of answered in the second half. I, I, I felt like we, I don't want to say we quit in that first half, but I felt like they just kind of went soft, and then we kind of bowed up a little bit in the second half, and uh, we were able to at least answer, and then at the end, I mean, it was kind of dramatic to, with no time left to kick a field goal, so that's all right. Okay, if you lose. I feel good. I'm in practicing, doing whatever I had to do to, to get ready for it, and it showed on the field. That means a lot. I think I improved on my route running, catching, everything that comes with being a receiver. I think I improved on work on this offseason and got better at it. I think so. I mean, what he can do, I mean, he can carry the ball for us. Uh, he, he's got great hands, runs really good routes. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but he plays big. Um, he's not going to out jump a 6 2 kid for a fade ball, but that's not his job. His job is a to be that electric guy underneath and, and do all the things that you kind of saw out of him today. And um, he, he's definitely not just most improved, he was really the, mo the guy that stood out the most offensively, definitely. Uh, probably my technique wise, Coach A is a pretty good DB coach. Like he's, as last year we had Coach Dale, but it's a new change of staff. And so he showed me pretty good new technique that I haven't learned before. And I just went out there and put it to work. Mikhail's been a guy that he's just technically sound. He does all the little things that we're asking. He's not trying to cheat it just to be, uh, just to win a rep. And I think he's, uh, I don't want to say he wants to be on Keontae's level, but I think that motivates him to try to do really well. And anytime he has a mistake or does something wrong, he's the first one to, to admit what he did wrong and he'll work on it hard the next time. And he, in, our, in our meetings, he'll be the first guy to say exact. I mean, he'll have a list of what he did wrong in practice. And we are able to throw him at nickel, which makes him have to think in a whole another direction. Um, and he's still a puppy. I mean, you look at him, and he's a, he's a baby face. And he's starting to grow into his body. And I think once we get past the Bambi stage, I think he can be really, really good. Just kind of with our running back situation, it made us think outside the box. And we had to do a little bit more than what we wanted to. Uh, we'll come back in the fall, and I think we'll kind of get back into the run game a little bit heavier. Um, but I think it's really good because uh, with our quarterback running, we've got quarterbacks that can do it, and they, they're really effective at it. So I think that was uh, probably the biggest thing that I took away from, from us offensively this year is just that we were able to really open up what we have that capability to do, whereas last year we were a little bit more constricted, uh, and not just because of our quarterback, because I mean, Zach's got a great arm and a lot of intangibles, but just where it forces us to do that. And sometimes being uncomfortable is the best thing that we can do.